Hello, welcome to RVR Closet. So, this is a comparison between the ProSim Quaif H pattern shifter and the BDH shifter from Race Sim Hardware. So, both of these are like the tanks of shifters, or maybe rather the BDH is the bazooka taking on the ProSim. But yeah, they are really hefty and uh, heavy duty shifters. So, if we start off with the looks. I'm having a really tough time deciding which one I like the best. I think they are really awesome looking, both of them. Just gorgeous pieces of equipment. The ProSim have those windows so you can see like the mechanics inside working the shifter. I really like that feature on the ProSim. I do however prefer the shifter knob on the BDH. I think that has a really cool look to it. Yeah, the BDH overall has a more unique look to it. Not really any other shifters on the market with this uh, appearance. But yeah, it's a draw in the looks. I just can't decide. Uh, they're just awesome. It looks like both of them could have been mounted in any real car. Yeah, so both are uh, quite hefty. But the ProSim is a bit bigger. And the length of the BDH is 30 centimeters. The ProSim is... 32, not counting this rod sticking out in the back. With that it's 37 in neutral. Yeah, height is about the same. They are around 9 centimeters, uh, not including the shaft. The BDH comes up a bit with the tensioning screw. And the width is uh, 8 centimeters for the BDH. And the ProSim is uh, 13 centimeters. The shaft or the shifter rod up to the gear knob is uh, a bit taller on the BDH, that is 18 centimeters, and the shifter rod on the ProSim is 15 centimeters. One other thing that is uh, better with the BDH is that the shifter rod is threaded, so it's a lot easier to uh, change gear knob. The ProSim has this bolt on top of the gear knob that you screw down into the shaft. To um, change gear knob on this you need like an adapter or to use the extension that you get with it. When it comes to the mounting you don't really have a choice on the ProSim more than uh, what direction the shifter body should face like back behind you or forward in front of you. Uh, otherwise you just have those four holes to bolt it down on your rig. The VDH can be mounted like I have it here with the mounting in the bottom but you can also turn this sideways on the left side or the right side. So uh, a bit more mounting options on the VDH. When it comes to uh, resistance here is the winner uh, ProSim. I haven't actually maxed this out but uh, it goes well over 10 kilos if you ever feel the need to have uh, those heavy shifts. Uh, but yeah, mostly it goes this high to um, accommodate the shifter extension that comes with it. The BDH goes to uh, around 6 kilos on the heaviest resistance. When it comes to left and right, side to side movement, they are pretty close but the BDH is a bit harder to uh, push sideways. The ProSim can be adjusted though, you can increase the tension of the side to side spring. Uh, I have never messed with it because I haven't felt the need to actually increase the tension in the side movement. The ProSim has a bit longer throw, so I measured it to uh, be on 13 in neutral. And it goes just past 16 on the scale here, so just over 3 centimeters in the throw. The BDH starting on 9, going to 11 and a half. So that's two and a half centimeter throw. The ProSim can also be adjusted to get a bit longer throw and also using the extension if you want to increase it even more. And yeah, talking about the throw and all that, we can go to the sound. And sound wise, I give this to the ProSim. It's actually the biggest pro with the ProSim, the sound. It has such an enjoyable sound. Really love that with the ProSim. It is two sided though, because the ProSim is really really loud. And the clunks going into gear with this really travels through the house. 
I'm on the second floor in the closet and my wife is sleeping down in the basement so two floors down and I can't use this when she's sleeping yeah I don't have this issue with the BDH I can still use that when my wife is sleeping uh, even though it's not a super quiet shifter it is a lot more quiet I do really like the sound of the BDH as well but uh, prefer the sound more on the Prosim When it comes to the feeling, that's another really hard one. The Prosim has a really nice feel to it, slamming through the gears. It's really hard to explain, but it's like it's cutting through the gears. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it's, it's really enjoyable. However, I actually get a better feel on the BDH in between the gates. The Prosim might be more enjoyable slamming in the gears, but in between the gears I'm liking the BDH more and feel closer to my uh, real life car. And one other thing I like uh, better with the BDH shifter is uh, going into reverse. On the Prosim you press down on the shifter and then go to the side and uh, put it in reverse. Not a huge deal, but makes it a bit more fiddly. With the BDH, instead you push the lever a bit extra sideways and then you put in gear. And it's also a spring tension, so it requires a bit more force to get it to go out. Yeah, just feels smoother and, uh, in my opinion, a better way of implementing the reverse. Then also, if we talk about the price, they are both expensive shifters. The BDH isn't cheap, it's uh, in the high-end shifter market, but it's still quite a bit cheaper than the ProSim. With shipping and everything and also custom fees, the ProSim actually becomes or became for me twice the price of the BDH. So yeah, that's something to consider as well. One option you have with the ProSim that you don't get with the BDH is that you can buy this uh, gear lockout system. But uh, that also add at least 375 pounds extra for the ProSim. But uh, yeah, which one to get? Weighing this and taking everything into account. If I were to buy a shifter today and could only pick one of the two, I would go for the BDH shifter over the ProSim. The only thing I can't really judge with the BDH is the longevity. But uh, yeah, I would be really surprised if the BDH would break down on me anytime soon. And uh, I will do a long-term review at some point in the future on the BDH as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Whispering ghosts are hiding in the closet. Little monsters under my bed All my toys are starting to move <laughs> <laughs> Laughing voices inside